Ryan, we understand there's a new project at Vans that involves putting a new engine in a 912. They told me you're the guy that has all the details in your head. So tell me about the project, please. Well, first it is about the engine, but more than the engine. Uh, over the last eight years, we've uh, assimilated a list of many things from builders. The airplane's been in flight schools. So there's a whole list of things that we needed to improve with the airplane. Stress levels that needed to be redesigned, we've done that. Improve the landing gear, both the nose gear and the main gear, in anticipation of use in flight schools. Installing that engine, there's a number of heat issues that happen with the IS, and we have those solved. We're using the IS Sport engine. It has more torque than the ULS. We get a better climb rate, better cruise. Looking through the rest of the airplane, we've redesigned the fuel tank, better access to the baggage area, increase the baggage limit from 50 to 75 pounds so you can more easily get your baggage in there and carry more with you. Looking at the throttle area, we've moved the throttle down into a throttle quadrant. We believe a lot of people, they've asked for that. It also allows us to add a really neat feature of a stop between eco mode and rich mode. And if you stay in eco mode with this engine, we've noted fuel savings of 25 to 30 percent. Even though the fuel levels remain the same, We've increased the range nearly 200 miles over this engine. So effectively, we've stretched that fuel capacity without adding more fuel. But beyond that, just a number of refinements that have made it a much better airplane, things people have asked for. I'm an engineer. I come to the shows just to watch people at the shows and see how they use the airplanes and make those improvements that I see that they either need or they ask for. Are you seeing there's a big move towards more LSAs in that flight training market and that was one of the reasons that perhaps you, you did some of the things you did to the RV-12? I believe there should be. Um, I'm not sure. There's still you know, some hesitation, I believe, for some flight schools, maybe the larger flight schools, uh, in using the LSA product. But we really feel that the RV-12 stands on its own as an airplane. So even though it's an LSA, it's an RV, it's well designed and regardless of that designator. Also, you have better equipment in LSA aircraft that should be in flight schools and at the right cost, we can add that to flight schools. It's a factor of safety. The FAA wants to make airplanes safer, but how many flight schools are really adding things like ADSB traffic weather, which has really reduced accidents since EFAS has come on board in 2008, AOA how many airplanes, you know, you can offer a cheap system, but even then, are they installing those systems? But if we can provide a low-cost LSA aircraft that flight schools will buy, automatically you have something that's new, modern, that they're going to place on the flight line and increase safety. Are these refinements also available to the builder of an RV-12? There are a number of refinements, little refinements that you can back into an existing 12. We've redesigned the canopy handle to be much easier to latch, much more professional design. There's a handle now on the instrument panel to pull yourself out of the airplane. Simple, right? But everybody loves it. It's their favorite improvement. The major changes, you know, we didn't want to make compromises installing the IS engine. So we blocked out the whole fuselage. 60% of the parts have major changes to accommodate that engine in the best way possible. And about 90% of the parts they have little refinements. So, in essence, you need to buy a whole new fuselage. Has it affected the price a great deal, or is it about the same price as the RV-12 was initially? We tried to keep the prices delta as low as possible. The engine itself is going to raise the price by about 5000 Beyond that, in the kit itself, we have made refinements to the kit, which will cost more, but I've tried to take money out in other places and shift it around and keep the delta down as low as possible. For example, the avionics kit, it's a vast improvement. We've moved all the wiring to the end instead of building it in as you go, made it easier to install at the end, and as a result of that, we're able to build the harness and plug in your units to that harness, test it on the bench. You know that you're going to get a harness that is going to work with your units. It's a great win for the customer, great win for our tech help. You know, We have less questions and you have less complaints, so it's great. Well, great. Well, Ryan, thank you very much for taking some time to talk with us. We hope you're having a good show here, and yes. uh, we'll be talking with you, I'm sure, about how things are working out at shows down the road. Okay, thank you. Great, thank you.
Aero TV is brought to you by Triggs TT31 Mode S Transponder is the class leading retrofit to the KT76A or KT78A. Easier and faster to install. You can now integrate with GNS or GTN WAS navigators and use our free ADSB STC list covering 650 aircraft types. ADSB just got easy. Your Cessna 172 or 177 wants a True Track autopilot, and so do many others. Visit TrueTrackAP.com and get your airplane added to the model list. The TrueTrack Autopilot at TrueTrackAP.com.